In this video, we're going to talk about configuring the Palo Alto Firewall's management interface via the web portal. Now, we configure the portal via the management interface, so there has to be an IP address already on the portal. This could have automatically been set via DHCP, so we can go ahead and configure it via the portal this time. Or maybe we are in process of changing the IP address or some other portion of the IP address, such as DNS. Uh, so we could be changing, let's say, the IP, oh, IP, DNS, or the gateway. So before we jump into doing that, very briefly, look at our network diagram just to reassociate ourselves with the IP addresses. And this right here is our management interface. Uh, let's go ahead and walk through how we would actually change that in the portal. All right, so step number one is to log into the web interface portal, which we have right here. First thing we want to look at is changing the management IP. Um, so I already have an IP, maybe that was assigned via DHCP, maybe I want to change it. In order to do that, I come up to the device tab and on the left hand side, I select setup. Uh, and then on the sub tabs here, management operation services, I want interfaces. And the interfaces, I can see I have the management interface. Now the interfaces here are different than the interfaces under networking. This is specifically for the management interfaces. So if I click on the interface name of management, I can see I have right here the IP address, the net mask, and the default gateway, as well as to be able to specify whether I want this to be static or DHCP. So I can go ahead and configure those. Assuming I've changed them to whatever I want, I then say, okay. So that's how you would change the IP address and the gateway. The other item we talked about was changing DNS, and that is under services. And we can see right here, services, we have our DNS servers. Click the gear icon next to services. And here we can change our IP addresses for our DNS servers to whatever we want. Say okay. And then when you're done, go ahead and click the commit button up here and say commit. So that will go ahead and that will commit the changes to our Palo Alto. And then the new IP addresses and the DNS settings will be updated. If we did change the IP address, we will have to come back up to the web portal, or sorry, to the bar of our web browser and type in the new IP address of the server.